I'm not going to follow the cliche like so many Trigun themed AMVs. I'm just I'm just going to get get into it. We're we're throwing chairs at Desperados, a lot of dead or alive. It's developed by Spellbound. It's on a custom engine fully natively ported onto the Linuxes, by the way. We talked about that earlier in the show. Uh, you can pick it up for about five bucks, which is reasonable for a 17 year old game. What is it? In this Western style title, discover a game of strategy and tactics played out in exceptional real time. You're in charge of a team of six mercenaries and must find a way to complete your missions, be it infiltrating an enemy fortress, saving a team member, or escaping an ambush. Combine the different skills of your six heroes and lead them to victory. This is Chair QA's edition. This is, according to the show notes, where we are here to break your game. We're Ivan Dragoing you. Oh, God, the return video is straight up giving me a seizure. <laughs> My God. I... <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm trying, but it's all like colorful and shit right out of my peripheral vision. Um, yeah, so check position, new and improved. We break it down. Uh, we get a, for the functional scores. You get a score from one to four based on does it launch the performance, the graphics, and the controls. We tell you how it works fact wise, and then afterwards we give you a little bit of the fun, the, the touchy feely, how we thought or what we thought about the game give it a score from one to four chairs one chair means that it's crap two chairs means that's meth three chairs means that's pretty good four chairs means that it's awesome so um yeah let's kick this off then did desperados make with the working indeed it did i i'm seeing your flicker return that's pretty cool um <laughs> over here on the kombuntu 1804 lts it's kind of brilliant it works uh no issues launching it performance solid 25 furps of glory um that's really what it's kind of locked at. That's what the video's at. That's what the game plays with. Um, no issues with the controls. The only uh, graphical issue I do have, and it's going to get dinged a little bit of a chair for, is there is no option for windowed mode, which makes life a little bit rubbish in 2018. And if you're going through the trouble of porting a game that old, I knew you did some work. Maybe throw in a Windows option for that. But I'll give it a solid three. <laughs> they, they they did have a windows option you just exit to it yeah right how about fedora <laughs> yeah um so fedora uh it launches fine it has a little bit of a freezy issue when you alt tab but it's not breaking anything it just takes a while to get back into the game performance wise yeah it's bringing that, that 1080 ti to its knees oh man can't get it above 25 frames a second uh like ben said there's no uh windowed mode or resolution controls so that things in a chair on the graphics and yeah, controls, you, you click, you click some more. And sometimes the game gets stuck on one of the things you got to save and reload, but that's not a big deal. Plus you can rebind hotkeys. Um, mm -hmm. there, 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 there are other issues with the controls, but I'll get to them in the fun section. So on Fedora 2864-bit with the i7-6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, it'll get uh, three out of four chairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Solus? over here on Solus. Uh, yeah, the performance is uh, it's just stuck at 25, no matter what you do. Uh, it launches just fine, it stays launched, uh, for all the good it does. Uh, the graphics, yes, it does get thing to chair here because, yeah, no windowed option, no resolution options. You do get some graphics options, but yeah, all, all you get to change is the screen ratio, and the game doesn't upscale uh up resolute up res itself to up the uh um, okay yeah <laughs> doesn't up res itself to whichever monitor you're running it just upscales the image which i'm guessing is 1024 by 768 to fill up your screen and it's kind it, it doesn't look particularly good and although the uh the in-game graphics uh i guess they don't suffer as much as the menus did if you don't mind the brown, that is. <laughs> There's a whole lot of brown and gray in this uh, in this game. The voice acting is pure uh, unbridled camp. It's it's amazing. Uh, the controls. That's where I have to dig in a chair uh, because the second introductory mission after you destroy the wagon. The game takes away control from you, as it's supposed to do, because you just dropped a barrel of dynamite and you don't want to shoot it because you need it. Mm -hmm. And the game just wouldn't give me back control. It wasn't frozen. I could still hit escape, but I just couldn't click past it. I could do anything. So that's where I got stuck. I haven't restarted the mission a couple of times. The exact same behavior. So that's that's a bit of a nope. Two chairs on Solus. All right. Well, you can see the rundown there in the show notes. Uh, and let's let's do some fun. Ven, did you have fun playing Desperados? First you, off, did, man. Did you... 
I was, I was going to make a life-size blow up into a new Banderas joke, but go on. All right, fine. Because first off, Big Honk, thanks to THQ for giving a 17-year-old game a native port. I'm kind of getting a kick out of um, it not running correctly, kind of, if at all, on Windows 10. I loved reading that in the forums. That was Jordan yawning again at 610. Note to take that out. Full disclosure, I quit playing these types of games in the DOS ages with King's Quest. I mean, I don't mind the real-time tactics genre, but, you know, at the end of the day, just not my bag. But what do we have here? It's a well done, even by today's standards, STR, RPG, stealth game thingy, basically 25 missions, semi-passable voice acting, good for its day, point-and-click adventure mixed with the option to shoot or sneak your way out of situations. What is there not to love? For me, well, there's a gang of shit on the screen that needs to be clicked in order to get through the game. You know, you get crouching, spying, stabbing, throwing, shooting, reloading. It sounds like a fun weekend to me. I'm guessing this interface made it a little more sense back in the days of 4x3. However, like when it's almost stretched out fully to a 28-inch screen to split at UHD, that's a lot of travel for your dribble. Fortunately, the game has reasonable hotkeys, but I warn you of this. Save, save, save. <laughs> Because if you cock up once, it is wham, right back to the beginning of that chapter. I learned that the hard way. Twice. Outside of that, you know, I had a good time for what this is, because it's King's Quest-style joint, wearing chaps, assless ones. And if we're going to be honest, you know, it's like 90% better than most of the hipster pixel bullshit. This is OG hipster, pic you know, just pixel bullshit. But mm -hmm. compared to what's on the market today, man, I was like, these games used to be good. This one still holds up. So, in closing, um, I'd like to thank the summer interns at THQ for making this port a reality, because I'm kind of guessing that's what happened, maybe, question mark. And P.S., I'm sure Jordan will touch on this. How many times did you try to rotate the map? I'll give this a solid three. I liked it, plus it's priced to sell. It's on wicked stupid sale right now. That's why we picked it up. We're like, fuck it, we'll try it. But even at, like, five quid... Fuck it, man. I mean, you, you you get an hour or two, even if you hate the genre. <clears throat> yeah, stealthy games are fun sometimes because I, so the 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 there are the two little mini games I like to play. Just aside from the actual gameplay, number one is how big can I make the pile of corpses that I accrue over the actually going through the uh, going through the mission, killing them, dragging them back to the one spot because the. Because uh, this game does the Metal Gear Solid thing, where if the enemies see bodies, they go on full alert and they try to shoot you. And the combat in this game, well, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Also, there's a, there's a, the other sub game is how many times do I save scum? I like to play a little bit of an over under on there. I can see how this game would have been quite the little gem back in the day. And yeah, then I didn't think about it at first, but you're right. I think a lot of the control issues could have been solved by not being a 4K, not being rendered at 4K. And like just being on a tiny like four by three screen, but yeah, the the Sierra the Sierra quality voice acting is a nice touch. It's a, it's probably one of the better voice acted games from that era. Um, and there's lots to do, and there's lots of ways to tackle problems. The enemies are smart ish. Sometimes they'll just run around in circles for no reason. Sometimes they'll just unload on you, and they have way better aim than you do as well. So like, oh, I'm gonna shoot this guy. No, I missed, and he shoots me and kills me in one hit. Yeah, um, but the, the issue there um, is really the controls, right? Um, there, there's a lot of like, oh, well, I need to do here. and I need to move to this spot and then perform this series of actions. And the UI doesn't really facilitate that all too well. Uh, there are hot keys, but the fact that you can't really, you have to like move and then do the action with the same button really makes it kind of annoying. I feel like a Baldur's Gate style rule set for this game would probably be a little better, at least in my perspective. Um, and yeah, the the isometric layout does not help at all because people will just run on the other side of buildings where you just straight up can't click and then they'll shoot you or stab you and then you can't really do anything. Um, it's all right. I, it, 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 it falls in the same trap that a lot of real-time strategy games do and... I, it's it's just not really my jam. I, I can see that it's well done. It's it's definitely a product of its time, and I can't really fault it for that because this is the uh, subjective fun category. I just got to give it one share. It's not really doing it for me. Yeah, and, well, I, it's no surprise at this point, or it shouldn't be, that I don't 
like real-time strategy games. And it's games exactly like th this one and Commandos that uh, kind of sort of cemented that uh, not liking feeling in me. Uh, they're like Desperados is, in my honest opinion, the perfect example of the epitome of an RTS game. I'm sure StarCraft fans will disagree, but fuck them. If they, if these kinds of games weren't so infuriatingly frustrating to me, I'd probably love them. But the way I'm being asked to control the action and the fact that the mouse movement is set relative to the game's internal rendering resolution, rather the uh, absolute resolution that you have set on your monitor, it's just awful, and it made me miss uh, a couple of clicks more than once, and I usually I either ended up dead or the mission failed because of something. Uh, I remember watching my dad play Commandos behind enemy lines and beyond Call of Duty and a little bit of Desperados back in the day, and even then I just couldn't figure out why he was having so much fun with it. And I'm almost as old now as my dad was back then, and I still don't get it. So, one chair for the fun for me? I did, I did, I didn't like it. Um, all right, no. well, you can you can take that with a big old granite chainsaw if you're so inclined. That's our, that's our review for uh, Desperados, One Dead or Alive. You got any final thoughts, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, I think they did a good job with the port. I wish they um, kind of want to give them a pass on the no window thing, but at UHD, I mean, that's going to blow up an entire monitor. And if you're running separate X screens, you're like, well, fuck, I guess I'll put it on the 1080p monitors or something like that. I like to play games in 1080p window, especially if you're trying to capture it. Um, outside of that, yeah, may maybe like a really janky piece of tape that on the bottom where it doesn't say exit to windows, because apparently that used to be a thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's I would very much uh, I very much agree appreciate uh, i'm very much looking forward to this uh, trend of just bringing old games to linux native ports especially i want thq nordic to do more of that i really really do and yeah just uh not real-time strategy games please mm. no yep no no step on snack <laughs>